What's up guys, today I'll be building a dart frog vivarium for a pair of Phyllobates Vitatis dart frogs. They'll be going into a 12x12x18 12 by 12 by exoterra with a glass top. Let's begin. The background I got was too big, so I had to take a little bit off the top and a little bit off the sides. I did that using a Dremel. I then use the knife to clean and straighten it up. The background was still too big, so I had to force it into place. For the drainage layer, I used about a 2 inch layer of bio balls. To keep the substrate from falling into the drainage layer, I cut out a piece of window screen mesh to use as a separator. Adding charcoal isn't a necessary step, but it keeps the water going into the drainage layer clean. For a substrate, I used a mixture of Zumed Repti Soil, Tropi Coco Coconut Soil Bedding, Exoterra Coco Husk, Sphagnum Moss, and finally, live oak leaves. I then spent around half an hour playing with cork bark until I found a scape I liked. Take your time with this part and make sure you like your hardscape. You want your vivarium to last a long time. Trust me, you don't want to have to tear it down after a few months. I decided to stick with this for my hardscape to leave more space for plants. I then packed soil behind the piece of cork bark to stabilize it and keep it in place. Okay, now for the fun part, the planting. You want to choose plants that like high humidity because this is a dart frog vivarium. I'll leave the names of all the plants I decided to use on the screen for you guys. Baby tears might look yellow now, but with a few weeks in the right humidity, it'll turn into a nice green. I put clumps of liverwort all over the hardscape because I'm hoping in a few months we can have a nice living green wall. Under every clump of liverwort, I put some sphagnum moss to help keep the liverwort hydrated. I then added the water dish. This isn't necessary for dart frogs, but I want them to breathe and this might help encourage that. After doing all of that, 
I decided that the scape was still too simple, so I found two nice pieces of spider wood and tried to work them in. After finding the right spot for them, I glued them into the piece of cork bark. For my cleanup crew, I went with Persilio Levis dairy cows, dwarf white isopods, and springtails. And to top it all off, I added live oak leaf litter. And you're done! It might not look great now, but in a few weeks, once all the plants have grown in, you won't even recognize your own vivarium. I waited around a week for the vivarium to establish and then I finally introduced the frogs. Okay, that's it for this one guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more escapes and other awesome builds like this one, then please subscribe. See you on the next one.